guys, my name is Anthony and this is Crypto Free. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about what's going on on the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to give you a pretty big update today. This is probably going to be a really important update, probably the most important update of my life. So look at this. Bitcoin is ultra bullish in the long term. And you guys probably are thinking, yeah, everybody knows that. But there's so much indicators that are talking that we could be exploding in the next week or so. Maybe even in the next few days. We could be exploding to all the way to like $500,000 by September. And I'm going to be explaining to you guys why I think that and why we could be going there. All that and more in this video, so let's get into it. And guys, I know that I haven't been posting that much videos lately and that's because I was a little sick now I have I'm feeling much better and so I will be giving you guys a better video so let's get into this video so let's first talk about the like the probably the biggest reason of why I think we are ultra bullish and we could be going to like five hundred thousand dollars look at this if we look at the previous run up to twenty thousand and we look at these two humps okay Let's just go on the daily time frame because that's going to be the same exact time frame. And then we calculate these two run-ups. They practically look exactly the same. Now, look at these. Th look at this. These two run-ups look exactly the same. They have a couple differences, but this is practically exactly the same. Look at this. We had how big of a percentage gain to actually this second rise so look at this if we calculate from here to here we had a thousand seven hundred percent rise and you guys calculate let's just say we calculate from the corona dump all the way to the top a thousand five hundred percent rise it's practically the same exact rise now look at this how much was the dumps well we can calculate by the fibonacci retracement you guys can see that this fibonacci retracement the bodies touched to 0 0.5 level and the wick touched 0 0.618 level now the second dump was to also the 0 0.618 level but the body touched the 0 0.5 level now we have a little tiny bit difference in look at this this difference is that we tapped instead of actually tapping 0 0.618 level we tapped the 0 0.5 level with our body and one wick actually passed a little tiny bit down and then the second hump we also, for now, are touching the 0 0.5 level, but by the looks of it, later in the video, I'll talk about why we could be dumping to 0 0.618 level. That would be ultra bullish because this 0 0.618 level would be a 42,000, which is the lowest that we could fall, and the 50-day moving average is on that level. I know that we already got rejected on the daily time frame of the 20-day moving average, but the 50-day moving average is at 42,000. That is the next support, and that is what we were usually actually testing. You guys can see that the whole entire time we were in this bull run, if we broke the 20-day moving average, we would tap the 50. So look at this. You can see that right here, when we fell below the 20-day moving average, we tapped the 50. If you guys look at the um, previous run-up, Every time we broke the 20 day moving average, we tapped the 50. We tapped the 50. A couple times we broke the 50, but usually we tapped the 50. If we broke the 50, we go to 100. That's what we did a couple times here. And if we break the 100, we go to the 200. But usually that already results in like uh, already break of trend like we did right here. We tapped, we went up a little bit, and then we did to have this correction. But this is ultra bullish. If we tap the 50 day moving average, which is at 42,000, which is also this major support, which you guys can see on the VPVR, is a pretty big support because after that, there's nothing there for a pretty big long time. You guys can see that. If we tap this level, that's also going to be this falling wedge. Now, that's the next thing that I want to talk about. This falling wedge is pretty big, and this is the reason why I think we could be dumping in the midterm, but bullish in the long term because look at this this target of this falling wedge is 70 percent chance to the upside 30 percent chance to the downside and since we're on the bull market high chance of going up this target is 72,600 now that is a big target because if we drag this line and i don't know why it's like that if we drag this line like this then the resistance level would be about 72,000 in March of 28th. And let's just say we go on our average pace just as we had right here. That means we would be going to 72,000 at the same pace. So we take this 
and we let's just say drag it out right there. Even though this is pretty rough, I'm saying that this could be the resistance level that we could go to. If we break this resistance level, then we could be going to like a hundred thousand. This is the only thing that's keeping us from actually going up because this resistance level has been with us for a very long time. It keeps getting us rejected right here, right there, and kept us support in a small time frame right there if we guys take it out by the wick. So, look at this. The resistance level would be 72,000. That is the target of this falling wedge. This falling wedge, like I said before, 70% chance to the upside and 30% chance to the downside. The bad thing is that if we break below this 42,000, that will be really bad because we're going to be breaking the 50 day moving average and the next one would be at 33,000, which I would say already is really bearish for Bitcoin. Now, if we come for support on here and we start going up, I think we have to at least go to 58,000 if we come for support on this level. Of course, we can still bounce around in there, in this triangle. That's why I'm saying we could be staying in this triangle for, uh, like I'm saying, a week. March 17th is probably the moment we're going to have to decide whether we're going to actually go up or down maybe a couple days before maybe a couple days after but this is going to be the level where we're actually going to test unless we break it right here so that is another reason why i'm bullish another reason why i'm bullish is a new indicator called the sar the sar is an indicator of dots it literally means stop and reverse it basically you know when you can see like both sides of the bitcoin price well this sar indicator only shows one of them and it shows either the bearish or the bullish side so when the dots are above and of course this is not perfect it works pretty much all the time sometimes it does fail like right here we had a a small fail right here we have a small fail I mean we did dump a little but that's it same thing right here we had a couple dots two dots and then as soon as we broke it we went to the bullish scenario so we all were right now bullish till we actually fell down right here then we were bearish until we actually got a few more dumps uh, dots of course this indicator is really bad by itself so we need some more proof now if you turn on the R sign scatter side they're really low on the daily time frame. Now, when this happens, usually we have these big pumps. You guys can see that we had this pump right here, and we went all the way to there, and that, that couldn't make us go to $72,000 again. Now, we had this pump right here, but that was a continuation of this pump which right here. So, we have some room to fall. I'm saying I wanted to fall below $45, 45%, I mean. So, if we fall below 45%, then we could be seeing a good buy. Now, this is really bullish for Bitcoin. Remember, guys, if you're going to use this indicator, the stop and reverse, just find it on the indicators and write SAR if anybody's using the training view. But be careful because this indicator by itself doesn't work that good. That's why you're supposed to use these indicators. Another indicator is the ADX and DI. So this indicator isn't bullishness, isn't bearishness. It just shows our strength of the um, Bitcoin trend. Now, I have a couple trends right here, which, by the way, kind of look, makes it look like there is a broadening wedge, but these are the two major trends that it talks about because it, this is the, bear, bit like, uh, the big time frame, daily time frame. So, where, what are the trends on the daily time frame? Well, look at this. We have these two major trends. Maybe it talks about another two trends, but these are the two probably the biggest trends which you talk about. You guys can see that right here, the trend was really low, but as soon as it started getting stronger, we started going up. Now, this doesn't mean that we were bearish or bullish. This is just saying that the trend, when it goes stronger, if it's in the downside, if we're going to the downside and the trend is getting stronger, that means we're probably going to be falling more. But look over here. When we were really high, at like 60, that's like a huge strong trend, and we started dumping, trend started getting weaker, we started dumping. And even though this this indicator is not supposed to be like a bearishness and bullishness indicator, this DI indicator is. So this ADX is the blue line, and the DI is actually the green and red one. Now, when the green falls down, that's like the bullishness, and the red is the bearishness. Well, it's stronger. Now look at this. The green started dumping, and the red started going up. Right now, we're at the same place. And when we were at the same place right here, we actually fell. We had like an ABC correction. We fell to the 0 0.5 level. So the 0 0.5 level is right here. We could be seeing a drop to 0 0.68. And this means that we could be seeing a fall down to about $42,000 maybe. 
If we confirm on support on this level, then we could be going up to 47,000 to test that resistance. About somewhere there, maybe a little higher, like 42,400. But if we break this level, like I'm saying before, we are, we're going to go to at least $58,000. Anybody who wants to take that trade, that is a 21% trade. Now, that is a huge trade to take. If we take, if we break this resistance, then the next resistance would probably be at like 74, 72. That depends on when we are actually going to reach. If we're going to take a regular route, like this steep, then we could reach at like 78 or 72. If we start going up those, say, sideways for a long time, then this trend would actually be much higher. But in the long term, this will all take us to the price of $500,000 because this, like I said in, like, like I said in the start of my video, this start right here looks the same thing as these two humps right here. And you know how far we actually rose after that. So let's just say we calculate after this dump ends how far we actually go up. This is 556%. And look at this. 556%. Let's just say where dump is right here, we stop at 42,000, and let's just zoom out to 556%. 556% is $273,000. Now, stock to flow model predicts that we could be going to $100,000 by August. Okay? But we usually go much higher than it. We usually come to this $100,000 and just zoom out past it. So we could be going to like $400,000, $500,000, or we could go to the minimum of $300,000. This could be the same thing as the 20000 in the percentage-wise, and this is ultra bullish. This is why I am bullish on Bitcoin in the long term. Mid-term, we could be falling down, but this is all leading to bullishness. Of course, guys, watch, make sure Bitcoin never breaks below 42000 That will make it bearish. So, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little long, and if you guys didn't like that, please comment down below what I should have changed. If you guys enjoyed this video, go down below and hit that like button. That will help my this video get to other people much faster. Subscribe if you haven't already, and that will unlock the post notification bell. So you guys never miss another video. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!